Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Yo, yo, people, Garrett Jr. here for another video. So, guys, we're back here in Farming Simulator 19. Again, doesn't really look like it with all these crazy mods. Uh, but, guys, before we get started, I want to say, because I know this question is going to be asked if you have not watched the last few videos I've done. But either way, these mods were all made by Lambo Mods and his team. The Patreon links can be down below. Currently, you cannot access these mods to my knowledge, but I believe in... Uh, 30 days around 30 days if you're in the patreon uh, Like if you are a patreon supporter, you will be able to get access to uh, At least some of these mods uh, if if not all these mods so guys, let's get started I'm gonna remind you at the end of the video to uh, go down to their patreon again And also guys if you have not watched all the other videos I've done with these vehicles We've already checked out the KTM version 2 we've checked out this go-kart. We've checked out the sprinter uh, We've checked out this race car kind of thing too uh but this video guys i'm thinking what we'll check out and this is probably the most requested for us to check out is going to be this jeep and the reason why we're going with the jeep is again because you guys really wanted to see it it is an amazing mod uh it the vehicle is stunning like you can tell already that it it's it's, it's something special the engine opens up, uh, the door is open as you guys can tell. There's lots to it, so we're going to be focusing mainly on the Grand Cherokee Jeep during this video. So, like always, let's go ahead and check out the customization options. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so, it's actually quite expensive. Okay, so it actually has no customization options, which is, I think, a first. I think this is a first. Uh, all these mods again guys, they're still in the beta. I'm assuming you'll eventually be able to change the color on this If not, it's whatever because it looks stunning the way it currently is uh, But yeah, either way, let's go lease one out There we go. Yeah, as, as you guys know lots of these have customization options like if we go to here uh, th For this one you can change like all those skins for this you can change like the skins You can change the engine you can change the tires So I'm assuming there'll be at least something you can change with this uh, probably at least the color is my best guess uh, but even if it doesn't get updated I'm still quite happy with the way it currently is uh, to say the very least so guys here we go the uh, Cherokee Grand Jeep Cherokee that's what that's what it says uh, I'm not making that up so we can start it up there we go and yeah it drives realistically okay so it's not gonna be it's not going to be going at those insane, like, you guys know, those insane speeds that we have gotten with some of these other vehicles. Uh, obviously, the Grand Cherokee shouldn't do that, uh, so it won't do that, right? It's going to be going pretty realistically. You can see our top mirror there does work. You can see also the side mirrors work. Here, let's get a, yeah, you see the background there is changing. Yeah, let's see if we can get maybe a more unique background behind us. Um, here, if we go to like this angle, yeah, you can even see that are the Jeep in the background in that mirror. Did, did you see that, guys? One sec, let's get a better angle of that. There we go. You can see that red Jeep back there, which is currently right there. And then, yeah, if we keep going, you can start seeing that race car that's over there. So, the mirrors do all function, including that middle one. Uh, quite, quite cool, quite cool, gotta be honest. The tire is on this. Again, realistic, pretty small. Oh, they have a Jeep logo on them. Wow, and the logo actually spins. Look at that. That's really cool. It actually has the logo. I love it. Uh, we have a trail hitch in the back, and we can also click X to open up all the doors and the hood. So let's go ahead and hop on out, and I'll check that out. Uh, okay, can we turn it off? There we go. Um, okay, so the hood. What do we got under here? We have actually here. You know what? I wonder if uh, if we go like this and we set this to like twenty or sure twenty nine. Does that help? Yeah, it kind of does. Okay, so you see we have our engine, we have the battery. It all looks really really good. Uh, you can see like the exhaust and everything, or not the exhaust, but I guess is that the exhaust manifold? I think it's called. I don't even know. Uh, yeah, this. It's, it's a detailed engine, as you guys can tell. Um, I'm quite happy with the way this looks. You really... Okay, look at that. 6.4 liter. 
Wow. Okay. Look. Look at that. I. I am a fan. I'm definitely a fan. So let's change that back to normal. If you guys didn't know, you guys could change this. Uh, yeah. You can. You can change your FOV and stuff. That's how the squad and lots of people get the thumbnails. I think Spencer sometimes uses that tactic or trick too. I've used it a bit recently as well. Uh, but yeah. So the trunk. You see, we have. I guess that's a speaker there. Another speaker there. Another speaker there. Okay, so that looks more like it's base, probably. I wish we could, like, kind of go inside, but sadly we can't. We have a little cover over there that can fold over to hide whatever you have in your trunk. And now we have, the, our, obviously, our trunk, um, <coughs> like, our physical trunk lid kind of thing. I have a weird cough right now, guys, so sorry about that. Yep, we have our doors. We have... Wow, it's really detailed inside. Like, can we... I don't know how to get the best view in there. I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay, that works. Well, kind of. You can see the back seats and everything. Like, it's so detailed. Okay, there's a little bit going on there. I guess Winston really helped with this one because I see Winston's logo there. Um, Yeah, this has an insane amount of detail. You see it says SRT. Quite cool. Quite cool. The wheel does spin like you would expect. There we go. Look at that. It seems like it might spin. Here, wait. Look at how far. Okay. That's how far it spins that way. What about this way? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the same, but I feel like it spins to the right a little bit more. Uh, wow, there's so much. Can I set the FOV in here? Oh, look at that. We can. Okay, so let's let's really set this. There we go. So, wow, look at that detail. Volume, all these knobs. You can just, like, your AC, turn on eco mode, uh, turn on traction control. So much stuff going on. You can see we have our dash. I don't even... Does the dash work? Oh, wait. Did that just... Look, it lights up. Even the time shows. And the time's correct. Well, it's... Okay, it's a minute off. It's It says 9.12 in game, and there it says 9.11. Like, not... Not that far off. Wow, yeah. The RPMs, everything... It all works. I'm guessing the fuel works, too. I like it. I like it. Okay, you see the doors, we have the even the airbag thing. The SRS airbag, wow. Okay, we have our door buttons. I don't know what those buttons down there do. More speakers, the call buttons, your horn. Uh, speaking of horn, we should probably hear it. So, yep, pretty cool horn. Uh, what, again, you would expect from a horn. Uh, here, wait, can we change that? There we go. Okay, now that we're out here, what I really want to do is zoom in again and see, can we see, I really want to show you guys that detail in there. Uh, 10? Yeah, there we go. Or, you know what? No, no, no. We'll change this to 5. Okay, so, look, you even have detail for the, like, little storage compartments that are on the seats. Uh, we have our speakers. At, whoa, there's even some little image there. With those speakers. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, what, that might be heating. I'm not sure. And then that's where the air is coming from at the bottom. Look at that. More speakers in here. I love it, guys. I really do love it. It's kind of sickening being zoomed in that much. Um, but yeah, very good job. I'm assuming the trailer hitch works. I guess we could probably test that out. Um, I don't know what trailers I have in here, but yeah, let's see. Uh, I think this trailer would work, right? <coughs> uh, mm, I, it probably would, but let's just go with this one, because, yeah, this will definitely work. Okay, so let's go ahead and lease that out. We can hop back in here, close that all up. There we go. I like the animation. Look at that. Okay, are we still zoomed in? Nope. I guess we're good. Okay. So let's go ahead, back on up. I guess we could even stay first person if we have the skills to do so. Probably not. We're probably going to hit something. There we go. Look at that. I like it. I like it. I'm really happy that all these mirrors work. I don't know how useful that top mirror is, but I've never seen like a center mirror that's useful in this game. They're all at weird angles. I, I wouldn't have it at that angle in real life, if I'm being honest. Um, okay, so we have our trailer over there. Let's see. I don't think we're going to be able to do this first person, but... Uh, 
Yeah, I can't really see it well in the mirrors. Maybe? Uh, no. Yeah, okay, we're far off. Okay, let's try this again. Um. No? Okay, okay, let's just, let's just try like this. Come on. There we go. And it does work. Look at that. And you can tell there, here, look at the suspension here. Ready? Look, boom, do you see that bounce? Proving that there is, yeah, look at that. There is suspension on this vehicle. The back wheel is, yes, there is. That's so good, okay. So, I guess, should we drive it with this trailer? I don't see why not. What other trailers do we have in here? Uh, I, th I think we have some other ones, but I don't think they would work for this. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm thinking we'll just kind of go to the racetrack that we know is good, which is going to be over this way. There we go. Again, it's not a racing vehicle. It's a it's a Grand Cherokee. Uh, and there is a percent thing. At th oh, okay, that percent thing at the bottom is for uh, the trailer, I believe. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Look at that. Okay, so let's go ahead drive on over again this part of the map is still being worked on this map is far from being complete uh but definitely definitely is looking good so far very very happy with it okay so uh i think we can even get in that way but let's just go the other way since we know it will be safe here we go whoa look at that you can see the suspension working when you hit the ground that's so cool. I love when suspensions in these vehicles and stuff. It just adds so much more realism and it enhances experience. Um, here, we can check. Can I do this? Okay. How much does this weigh? Does this scale work? Let's see. There we go. It's, oh wow, it's actually, the race car is a lot heavier. 1,000, oh wait, no, it's 13,794, I believe, pounds, I want to say. That's my best guess about the measurement unit there. Okay, but let's attach up. Okay, we it it likes to go far back. I don't know, I don't know why. Uh, it drives extremely well, though. Like the turning and everything, I really like that. There we go. We can see more of our suspension there. There we go. That's amazing. It really is. Okay. And yeah, so let's just kind of start going. I, I still have our race cars over here. Actually, you know what? Let's let's take off the trailer. There we go. Okay, let's see what this thing can do. Okay, so 0 to 60 in this. Not the best we hit 60, though. Uh, but again, it's not a race car. It's not supposed to be like a race car. Can we open the door? Oh, doors open. Oh, a hood? Oh, no. Um, That makes it a bit hard to see. Look at those doors, though. That's amazing. Okay, so let's go around this racetrack. Oh, this is so nice. I'm having so much fun with this game recently. It's insane. It really is. We need some, like, cool cameras. Like, that's something we're really missing in this game. You don't have, like, your cool, like, cinematic camera. Maybe one day that'll be added. We do have, like, no camera collision, which is what we currently have on. So, that proves they can mess with the camera angles. Which is making me think they probably can make a cinematic camera mode as well. It'll probably be quite laggy though, really when you think about it, but I don't know, I don't know. Okay, either way, let's keep on going. We can sound the horn, I guess. There we go. Okay, and we should be making a background here shortly. I think we're just about back. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, okay, so we're going to 94. Max, it's showing is 95 that we can go, but it really seems you cap out at 94. So there we go. Okay. Let's put on this trailer. Hee hee. Uh, let's see if the time still changed. Maybe it's just relative to whatever it starts off with. Oh yeah, no, it says 919. There we go. So that display in there. Uh, by the way, let me hear. Can I zoom in? Like, I really want you to see that display there. Do you see the time up top in the left hand or in the right hand corner? Top right, you see our time and you see the time down there. Like, look at that. Okay, so right now the time up top changed. Will it change down there too? I wonder. 
Everything else there is changing. The times definitely definitely has changed. Oh look, we could turn the wheel. That looks a bit weird. Okay, come on, time. Can you change down there? I would greatly appreciate it. Will you change? We might have to turn on and off the vehicle. I'm not sure. Um, okay. It doesn't look like... Oh, I guess we can speed up the time. Here, let's see. Will it change? Um, oh, yeah. Look at that. It, okay, it does change. It definitely does change. We have it, like, sped up. Being five times the speed now. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Yeah, look at that. Okay, here, if we go, like, times 60 speed. Wow, it is changing. Okay, that's amazing. That really is amazing. Okay. There we go, though. Let's go ahead and head on out of here, I'm thinking. And I think we'll probably just drive back to where we started and then call it there. I really, guys, just wanted to show you guys. This. You guys know, like, there's only so much you can do with this vehicle. Uh, we took around the racetrack. And it does pull trailers. Like, it's so cool to have. Um, definitely the best vehicle mod I've ever seen in this game. I'll be honest. Like, in FS19, we... I, oh, geez. Uh, I haven't seen anything that compares to this. Like, this vehicle mod, suspension works, the horn sounds good. Everything's just perfect. It drives good. Um, it's just really, like, I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan of this. Here, we can see how much speed we can get on the main road here. I wonder if we can get up to the same speed with the trailer. Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, okay, we're running out of road. Okay. Yeah, I whacked our trailer there. That wasn't because of the vehicle. That was because I destroyed that trailer. The trailer was going to fly through the air there. There we go. Okay. So, guys, I think we'll call it here. Thank you again so much for watching. Still, still, guys, we're, we're just going to say it again. I don't know if Lambo's watching. I'm guessing he is. But... I would love, absolutely love, if we could get our logo on one of these trailers. Lambo, message me. I can, I can send it to you. You see how we have the squad trailer? You see how we have Spencer's? I think we should get a Garrett Plays trailer. I, I'm just saying. Just saying. Uh, if, if we can't, it's okay. But I, I, would, I would really, really love that. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Lambo, you've done so much for me already sending me over these mods. So, shout out to you, Lambo, and shout out to your whole team. You guys are awesome. But yeah, see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye bye. Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell.